a good morning. You see behind me here, we had kind of a, having kind of a frosty morning this morning here. It's fairly cold out. I'm uh, getting ready to go head down to the office. And I uh, just wanted to give you a more sure word of prophecy. Okay, something I want to get out before this event actually occurs. Um, the Bible is our more sure word of prophecy. When there's something is written in the Bible as something out there for the future, you can call it pre-recorded history. Um, we know that it's going to come to pass because God's word is perfect. God's word is truth. Uh, the Bible teaches in the end times that Russia, it doesn't say Russia in the King James Bible, I get it, but there's a the king of the north and the whole Gog Magog prophecy thing back in the book of uh, Ezekiel. Um, but there's definitely a the kings of the east the Bible talks about in the book of Revelation. Um, not the kings of the west. Okay, the UK, and the UK doesn't have a king, you know. Well, what about Charles? He's not a king. He's a drunken uh, actor. Um, but another story there. Um, and of course, we don't have a king. You know, Joe, Joe Biden's definitely not a king here in America. But we know from Scripture that Russia is going to be an end times power. America, there's no Western superpower mentioned in the King James Bible. Um, and even if you want to forget all of that, the fact is, Russia is anti-sodomy, America is pro-sodomy. God's not going to bless a nation that's pro-sodomy. All right, I'll get to the prophecy here in just a minute. Um, and you have this uh, Zelensky pervert uh, actor, this Jewish guy over in uh, the Ukraine. Um, if you're a Christian, you can't support that. You can't support this pervert. Uh, there's a video out there, I'll show you a little screenshot from this thing of Zelensky and he's dressed in high heels. I'm not going to play the video. You can look it up on your own or whatever. Um, it's very vexing, very vile. And this is the guy that uh, many Americans are, oh, just esteeming him, putting him up on a pedestal and we're sending billions of dollars to this pervert sodomite. And uh, it's not right. But here's the prophecy. Um, the prophecy is Russia is going to increase. All right. Now, American churches are going to be given a choice in the future. You see, World War III is coming rapidly, and they're going to be given the choice to either side with America, their own country, and they're, since they're 501c3 uh, federal buildings, uh, it could even be forced that you will side with America for the war effort. You will side with your country and your, our support of the Ukraine. And um, either that or if you stand by the Bible and you say, no, Russia is going to win, not because I'm pro-Russia or anything, although their they're stand against sodomy is good. Um, it's just what the Bible says is going to happen. What if in the future that could cost you your uh, federal tax-exempt status? We're going to see what happens, okay? My uh, vote, my thought on it is that most of the church buildings are going to completely go along with the government even those that claim to be uh, Bible-believing, you know, they'll go along with what the government says, and they'll go against the Scriptures. You, have, you know how I know that? Because they already went against the Scriptures. They already had lost people come in and dictate what they're supposed to do because of the danger of a disease that never existed, an asymptomatic disease, whatever that is. They're going to go along with it. They absolutely will. They go along with the thing of uh, make America great again and all the other stuff that goes contrary to the scriptures. So watch. Watch what happens. The more sure word of prophecy is Russia's going to win. Now watch and see if the churches line up with scripture or line up with lost people, the lost country of America. Watch and see.